Family support, I mean, it was extremely important. I mean, I was in the hospital with some people that were in a very similar situation to me, but had no one. And I cannot imagine how hard that would have been to, to approach this whole world of unknown and challenges that are, you're about to face without having anybody by your side. Um, having family and support around me was huge. Um, you know, having Amy by my side was by far the biggest thing for me. She was the love of my life before the accident, and the fact that we've been able to continue that has just been, has blown my mind that my situation hasn't put more stress on her. Um, but if it wasn't for her, she's been my motivation to, to keep going, you know, she's helped me with everything, you know, I need to get, I need to train at five in the morning today because it's going to get so hot today and I don't sweat. So this was last summer, you know, so I need you to help me get the bike out so I can go for this ride while it's still cooler. Well, you imagine five days a week having to wake somebody up at five in the morning because you need help with your bike and everything, and she did it. You know, that was huge. That allowed me to conquer the goals that I had set for myself, which allowed me to realize that there's still a lot to be offered in life. So I don't, I honestly don't know what I would have done without her, family, friends, uh, the amount of support it has been amazing that I've had. I feel very fortunate to have had it. My friends reacted, I mean, my accident in the beginning was just, am I gonna survive? So, well, I should have died in my accident. So it's, they, at first it wasn't the spinal cord injury. It was, is, is our friend gonna live? Um, so, and I was in a coma through all of this, so I don't remember, I, I wasn't around for the initial shock of everyone. Um, I have, most of my friends are outdoor adventurers, and they do dangerous things like rock climbing or backcountry skiing and a number of other different things, and um, they understand the risks of what they're doing, which are similar to the risks of the things that I was doing. And I think it hit home for my friends that are really into rock climbing or flying and things like that, because it, it just kind of was an eye opener. You know, like, hey, these accidents do happen and my gear could fail and, and I could be in the same situation, if not worse. And so I think it was really tough for them. One of my best friends told me the hardest part for him was wondering where I was gonna be at mentally once I woke up from the coma. Because him and I, Becoming paralyzed has always been my biggest fear in life. Not dying, becoming paralyzed. And I knew my goal was base jumping. I was pretty certain that, it, you know, I'm gonna get into base jumping, I'm gonna get into wingsuit flying, and I'm gonna die wingsuit flying, probably. Base jumping, something like that. You know, that, that was kind of, I just kind of, I didn't assume it, but I knew that risk was greater than doing an entire life of base jumping and surviving it. And um, you know, they say base jumping, there's two ways out, and that's quitting or death. I, it was definitely hard for all my friends, because it just it hit home more, you know, because they're doing the similar stuff. But um, they've all been supportive. They were out there on the bike ride last year, and um, they're impressed with what I'm doing and, you know, what I've learned, you know, things like that, what of how I am now. Now I volunteer, now I'm more focused on others, and I am just going to work and doing my one hobby. That's all I live for. A super nice guy. I'll give you my shirt off my back if, I, if you need it. But you probably have to ask for it, you know? Because otherwise I was gone and on a mountain and was doing my hobby. And so, you know, it's, it's been a transition for all of us, for sure. I think it's harder on friends and family, though, than it's the person actually going through it. I really do. Because, you know, you're... For me, going through it, it's just it's a situation I'm in. I can't change it. It is what it is. Let's figure this out. Let's make it happen. Um, for family friends watching the struggle, watching how hard life is, watching everything you just lost being, you know, something that's in your mind, watching the, the sadness, I think that's way harder. I think watching somebody struggle is way harder than actually struggling yourself. So I actually initially had to, I had to slap hands away. You know, like you guys, I get it. I get it's hard to watch me struggle with this one little thing, but you gotta let me figure it out because otherwise I'm never gonna be able to do this stuff. And, um, that was a big challenge, I think, for everybody else, was just being able to let go and allow me to figure out my new lifestyle. And um, they, I think, struggled harder than I did, it just was watching it. Visit us at easystand.com. Easy Stand. 
Standing Made Easy.